Oh, I'm not even ready yet. That's already hooked up. Please get, let me get ready next time. Oh, good start. Oh, it's like second or third car, so I'm not even in the water yet. No, the old boy's already got one. That's a good way to start the morning. Well, that's what we're here doing this morning. We're out here chasing that sunrise bite. It's super cold. Um, but that's how you start a morning second car. So I haven't even carted yet. I'm not even in the water. Got to change a tide at about 6.30 right on sunrise. So we thought we'd uh, get up nice and early. And it's just paid off. But the plan is catch a couple flat and flick these banks on the as that sun's coming up behind me and hopefully um yeah get a couple more flooded and if we're super lucky maybe a dew or something like that a bit later on but come join us and uh, let's catch some fish Second fish for the morning. Very nice fish, 51 actually. 51. That's a good fish, 51. How good's that? Look at that. Ooh, mullet. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, oh, there you go. There you go. Go on. Ooh, 2 0 to dad, 2 0. A little bit more bite Probably smaller. Yeah. I'll probably be able to pick him up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah just you swing him. Oh, there you go. Oh, number three for you. Oh, see you later. Oh, yes. I'll oh, still so hook the good one here, I think. Probably in the 50s. See what we got. Oh yeah, this, this is a good one. This is a really good fish, I reckon. Nah. It's gonna come up then. Oh yeah. Possibly in the 60s. Definitely in the 50s. Man, that's a good fighter. Yeah, oh, yeah. Makes it a bit of fun. Yeah, no. Nah. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Yes. Finally, that's a good one. Oh, the lure just popped out. <laughs> oh, finally, we got good a good job. one. <laughs> that's a cracker. Well, that's uh, my biggest one of this morning. 55. Really big, fat, healthy fish. It's good to see. That's a uh, cracking flathead, that one. There we go, that's a really good fish in the mid 50s. Um, yeah, we only haven't been here too long, and that's number five. So, yeah, pretty stoked with that one. Good looking, healthy fish. We'll um, put him back. See you later, mate. All right, good start. Hopefully, we'll keep this momentum going. Oh, smaller one, I think. He's picking a bit. Spring around to the right. Yeah. Actually, you might have to go to the... That's got a bit of size to it. Yeah. Push that motor. Push that motor. Yeah, not too bad. Nice. Let's open the bail arm. Yeah, oh, there you go, that's a legal one. 
Well, the prawn is absolutely gone. Somewhere down there, there it is. Absolutely scoffed that, didn't he? He wanted it. Oh, actually, I'm gonna be close. It's a 45. -er. 45. There you go, another nice fish. These fish are super fat. I'm gonna pick them up and then I'll throw them out. Just chuck them in on that. <laughs> throw them back. The quick release. <laughs> the brag mat release technique. Nice. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna do the bow arm. Okay, you're good. That's 50 or high 40s. Never a really good fish. But, Dad, 40. I'm gonna give him 48. Go down there. Oh, I'll catch you later, mate. Beautiful. Yeah, it is a little bloody. <laughs> it's a little cranky one. <laughs> Another nice one. <coughs> 42. Looks perfectly in the corner there. Oh. Uh, we've, just, we've just moved through the system. We've got some nice mud flats, so we're swapping over from the easy shrimp. Got to start throwing the uh, diesel minnows. The water's pretty clean, so we're going to start off with um, pearl and then we're going to whack some um, procure scent. Now, in these borage diesel mirrors, they actually have a split. They have a split underneath, so you can just fill up your, um, your diesel minnow with the scent, just like that. So, yeah, we'll start throwing these bad boys around. Hopefully, we can get another fish or two before we head off. Good one. Oh, that's a really nice one. Watch, see me up. Really good one. <laughs> Put in my pocket. That's it. Watch him. No, no, no. Watch him. Line, don't let the line touch the boat. One, one, one. That's it. Watch the motor. Oh, I'm trying to. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. Finally. <laughs> that's a big one. That's your new PB. Gonna get him. That's your new PB for sure. Easily. There we go. Got it out. How good's that on the pearl? Four inch. Always seems to catch a larger fish. I reckon it's got to be close to 60. Just short, maybe. 
Ooh, yeah, we'll give it. And straighten it up. Oh yeah, it yeah. That's that's a great one there. Sixty. Cracker. There's a uh, cracker. How good's that? Real big, fat, healthy fish. That one. All right. Put him back. Super shallow water. All right, another awesome morning. Me and Dad just spent here flicking mangrove edges and mud banks for the flathead. Before we head off, I'm gonna quickly do a run through of the gear. So I was using the 1000 ITX. Dad was using 2500 Akuma ITX. Now, my 1000 paired with a one to three kilo Black Mamba TT rod, and Dad's was a three to six kilo. Um, both of them are filled with 10 pound platypus braid and then we run down to a 15 pound stealth fluorocarbon leader um, now depending where we were fishing we switch it up a little bit but we mainly started off with the easy shrimp the mangroves then we ended up switching out to the pearl diesel minnows at the end uh, both of those are on a quarter ounce uh, tt jig head but yeah, we uh, won't count the numbers because I think Dad beat me like 8-4. Nah, Dad got a really nice 60 at the end there. So um, yeah, we're going to head off now, but an awesome, awesome morning. So cheers for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.